Hey, howdy and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, everyone. I'm Yak, ready to take you through this Minnesota Twins discussion here on the channel today. Now, obviously, Clem challenged me. He's like, yo, Yak, when are you going to post on the channel again? Kind of gone quiet there, bud. Needed to talk about the Minnesota Twins. Sure. All right. Challenge accepted, Clem. No problem. I got you. I'll pick you up and I'll get this going while you enjoy a single man's Friday night. No worries about it. So anyway, those Minnesota Twins, um, it's been a while since I checked in on them, right? I did the post-game video just a couple hours ago, and uh, here we go, 28-18 following the victory against the Kansas City Royals today, and that's a big 10-7, my friends, but uh, there's a big factor here in the Minnesota Twins' success that we kind of would uh, be lost without. So you take away the Minnesota Twins here, right? They are, uh, you take away the fact that they've got 15 wins in the Central Division this year, right, against the opponents in the division. Uh, that would leave them with 13 wins elsewhere, and you take away the fact that they have five losses against the Central Division, that would leave them with five, or 13 losses, 13 wins, 13 losses. You take away the 15-5 and five record against the Central Division. Well, my friends, this is huge. This is how you win a division. This is how you make the postseason in the MLB. Correct me if I'm wrong, Beat up on the guys in your own division. Win against your own division. And right, obviously, we kind of kind of had a bad go of it the past two games, two tight ball games against the Tigers and Royals. But now we bounce back with a win against the Royals, and all of a sudden, all is fine and hunky dory again. Once again, 15 and five. It could have been easily 17 and three. But for right now, we'll be fine and dandy. 28 and 18. A five-game lead in the AL Central right now, and we're sitting cushy. It looks good. It feels good. It is good for the Minnesota Twins right now. And, of course, just coming off that massive winning streak that the Twins went on, things are rolling good. But it all comes back to play within the own division. It has been massive for the Twins' success this year, right? A 500-ball club without the Central Division, but come in, beat up on your own teams within your own division. The other four guys that... Just can't seem to figure it out, right? The Guardians are five games below 500. The Tigers are 12 games below 500. And after tonight's result, the Royals are 14 games below 500. You got to beat those guys when you can. And so far, so good. 75% of the time for the Minnesota Twins against the division, which is a fantastic result so far if you're a Twins fan. Me, I'm a Blue Jays fan at heart, but hey, you know what? Clem's, uh, Clem's kind of made me have a soft spot for those Minnesota Twins down there in the AL Central, and obviously if we ever met in the playoffs, that'd get very, very mighty interesting, very, very mighty quick. However, as it currently sits, right, the closest competition we've got within the division for the Twins is the Chicago White Sox, and it's not really that close of a competition. They're sitting at 522 and 22. They're an off and on ball club in the past five, and they're terrible within the division, right? They're minus five within the division and not really standing out elsewhere. So they're just trying to get going. And for the Twins as well, another big part of that Central Division success has been the 16-10 and 10 record at home. But it currently sits that the Minnesota Twins really need to keep focusing on this. If the division is going to be one of, if not the weakest in baseball this year, right? Most other divisions have those big teams with at least the losing team has 16 wins. So realistically, yeah, you know what? The Central Division is one of, if not the worst divisions in all of baseball right now. And the Twins are taking full well effect of that and advantage of that as well. And that's huge. As a Twins fan, you don't want to see the rest of the division struggle and then the Twins can't fight their way out of a wet paper bag when it comes to facing the division. No, you want to watch the Twins Take four easy opponents in their schedule. Every chance they get them, obviously, you get them a lot because they're within your own division. Beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up against them and just build that divisional lead because if you take that number one spot in the division, you're guaranteed a postseason berth. And this year, all fine and dandy, we're going to have ourselves a great postseason as soon as we get there. Problem is, you got to get the job done now. And so far, so good for our Minnesota Twins as we are currently sitting at that 28 and 18 record, 15 and 5 within the Central Division and doing the job just as it needs to be done, which is massive. Again, that all kind of comes back to what happens tomorrow, right? Saturday against the Kansas City Royals. It's a chance yet again to keep what has been going on going if you're the Minnesota Twins and you need 
to do it, right? The Twins hit the ball at 1.10 Central Time tomorrow, and you got to believe for them, it's a must-win game if you're looking at, right, you've already lost one to the Royals in this series. You need to go out there and win this one, right? You won one, but you also lost one. And when you're 15-5 and five against the division, you can't afford to be losing games in a four-game series. Obviously, end of the day, you win this next one, you lose the one on Monday or on Sunday, you're tied two games apiece in the series, and it's really a do-nothing series. But you know what? End of the day in the division, that's a huge loss. You need to be taking three out of four every chance. You need to be winning the series against these low bottom feeder teams within the division. And there's three of them this year, so you got to make sure you do it. Honestly, right? If the Twins take care of business against the Tigers, against the Guardians, against the Royals, you can afford down the pipe to go 500 against the Chicago White Sox without fear of losing the division to the White Sox who are currently five games back. That's just fair and that's just life in the MLB. That's all you have to do. Beat the bottom feeders, beat up as often and as timely and as big as you can and then go 500 against the White Sox and away you go into October postseason baseball. Hands washed, fine and dandy, playoff berth in full effect. But again, it kind of comes back. Big win tonight, big slugfest, gutty performance, Pagan coming out and getting the save and getting the job done for the Twins tonight. But now you got to go into tomorrow, same mentality, get the job done and keep doing it against these bottom feeders if you want to ensure having success down the stretch here. Right now we're all, all of a sudden almost done May. You're almost done two months of this season. And yeah, you got to start figuring out, okay, what kind of ball team are we going to be? Currently 10 games above 500. Well, right, that's a playoff ball team in the Central Division at current. However, there is that risk. You get into the rope-a-dope games like tonight, and you end up losing them more often than you win them, and that really comes back to cost you. But with a 15-5 and record for the Minnesota Twins against the division, if you can maintain that, maintain that 10-15 game gap, 75% of the time winning against the division, whatever you want to say, you're going to be just fine when it comes postseason time. However, right now, it is a big time kind of game changer for the Twins in terms of what they've accomplished so far, but what they have to keep doing the rest of the season to ensure what's happening now is the end result at the end of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. Thanks so much for tuning in to some crazy Canadian guy talking about the Minnesota Twins. Have a good night. And, uh, well, enjoy the ball game tomorrow, eh?